All right, first, I'll probably end up being a magnate again. <laughs> I know, being an Avara for maybe a month tops is not really that long of a time to be an Avara main or be a main of anything. But some of the things that were talked about in today's dev stream got me thinking that maybe being mag is going to be even easier than ever before. Now of course mag is already a rather difficult warframe to understand and that it does take quite a lot of effort in order to make her really really good. But a couple of changes are coming that is going to make her very very strong. The first thing is that shield gating is going to be coming into the game in a much more fleshed out and a much more universal manner. Shield gating already exists for Hildren and the Railjack and if you have a look at either of them the way it works is that if you lose your shield the first time and you then get the shield gating thing to happen you have to wait until your shield goes all the way back to full before you can actually do your shield gating again so you don't get to just shield gate constantly if you have something like arcane aegis for example happening although there are going to be some changes to arcane aegis so i don't really know how that's going to work but my understanding is based on what currently exists that you'll need to be able to get your shield all the way back to maximum before you can do another round of shield gating. Which is kind of why I feel like someone like Mag is going to be even stronger than before. So let's say that I've lost all of my shields, right? But I'm not dead. The premise then is to use something like Polarize. Now notice that I've gotten 450 shields. 450 shields happens to be the maximum amount of shields that I have. And as a direct result, if a rocket were to hit me again, I don't die. Now, of course, this is a level 80 bomb, so I won't be dying anyway if they proceed to shoot me at all. Guess not. Because Mercy is too busy distracting them. Okay, good on you, Mercy. I will just kill them anyway. But that's the idea. So, a Warframe like Bag is probably going to be really, really powerful in the sense that being able to just refresh my shield by pressing 3 and using Polarize means I get to just shield gate on a nearly constant basis, and that's going to be really, really good. There are other Warframes that might have something like this as well. Obviously, Hildren already has something like this that is really, really powerful in the form of her second ability, which I believe is called Pillage. Another one is Vault, if you use his fourth ability's Augment, so that could be really, really powerful in getting a lot of shields and also overshields back. There may also be an additional mechanic when it comes to overshields as well. Let's say I get as many overshields as I can. Right now my shield count is sitting at 1650 which is very very high and that also means I have all the overshields that I could possibly have. The amount of overshields that you could ever have at a maximum is 1200. I remember reading or hearing somewhere that there is going to be a mechanic where when your overshields deplete and then you're back to normal shields you get a shield gate on top of that. I'm not sure if that's going to be coming in. I don't know. We'll just have to wait for those details to show up. Wow, that's a lot of people that are ready to get hit by a Parazon. That was surprising. But the idea might be that overshields provide you with two layers of shield gating, which could be really, really powerful, especially for Mag. And again, with Vault as well, and Hildren, and pretty much any other Warframe that has some way of providing themselves with overshields. So... What that means is that the 5,000 IQ mag could end up being a 5,500 IQ mag in the sense that you get to also juggle between shields and overshields as a way of providing yourself with some much needed survivability. I guess the big question then is whether or not redirection is actually going to be valuable in this situation. I personally get the feeling that redirection is actually going to screw you over because you then have a lot more shields that you need to recharge before you can get that shield gaining back. So if you prefer to have shield gates as opposed to large shields, then obviously redirection is not going to work at all. I personally do not use the Lavin or Vidar shield arrays because they provide me with too much shield and also they have a bit of a slow shield recharge. Because of the low shield recharge rate and also the fact that there's a ton of shields that needs to get recharged, I get the feeling that using those shields is going to be a lot more difficult to stay alive when you're trying to rely on something like shield gaining in Railjack. So that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, we'll just have to see. And aside from shield gaining, there's also one other thing, which is that self-damage is no longer going to be a thing. Basically, what it's going to look like is this. Except I'm going to be staggered, okay? That's basically what's going to happen. Because self-damage is going to get removed, and instead it's going to be self-crowd control, self-staggering, which kind of means that I could just walk in like this, and I guess Shy is basically rooting in her, in her mind right now. I could basically do this. 
and I won't be dead. I'll just be staggered every so often. Except maybe I will not because the 5000 IQ mag build actually features a very interesting and now a potentially god tier useful Exilus mod called Prime Sure Footed. 100% chance to resist knockdown. This also includes little staggers. Instead of doing that little stagger kind of thing, it ends up being some sort of like block mechanic that just basically stops you from being knocked down in any way, shape or form. This mod is just a pure anti-crowd control mod and that probably, I'm guessing here, includes self-crowd control via so-called self-damage weapons. Now, so-called self-damage weapons. So obviously the big question now is how am I going to use the Kuva Brahma with something like Mag? And the answer is actually really, really simple. Obviously we've seen this. When you use it with Magnetize, it kind of just fires up like that, like a firework, which is kind of nice. But actually, the answer is just simply blow it up. It turns out that any bomblets that get into the um, magnetized bubble, they get magnetized, which means they all hit their targets. Like so. So, it's perfectly reasonable to use the Kuva Brahma with mag, especially when self-damage is no longer a thing that is going to exist. Fantastic. So, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Do you think you will be using a shield-based Warframe for a change, as opposed to the stock standard Inaros, Nidus, Chroma, yada 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 yada, health-based Warframes? Let me know in the comments, especially when this comes out. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.